one of the seven management and planning tools is the tree diagram. And the whole idea here is to connect ideas up so that they link. All right, and so we can actually see these. Um, so from a balanced scorecard perspective or measurement perspective, we can use this to diagram uh, what we're trying to do. So if we have a vision of what we want to be, customers want us to be faster, better, and cheaper than ever before. And so that's our long-term high-level goal. It might have a short-term goal like reduce cycle time. We're going to measure it with cycle time. We're going to set a target for reduction. Reduce repair time. Measures would be repair time. We'll reduce that. Better. We're going to reduce the number of defects, and we won't have as many to fix. And uh, you know, it's a percent defective or number defective over the total 50% reduction. Set a big, hairy, audacious goal. All right, to to move things. Reduce rework by 50%. Reduce the cost of failure, of waste and rework by 50% or more. All right. And as you can see here, you can actually. Uh, <clears throat> I can either click on that or I can go up here to Excel's tools, choose a shape and say I want a, I want a connector here. And because I, I don't really have everything connected here, I'm going to connect those boxes. And in Excel, it's pretty simple to do this. With the QI macros, we actually have these built in. So you can literally click on uh, the planning tools, go down to tree diagram, pull that right up. We can also use these for critical to quality trees. And so here's our need. Here's what we expect of our driver. And we expect them to smile and pronounce names and, and get things done in an appropriate period of time. So this might be for like a, um, uh, <clears throat> what do they call that? You know, a limo company or something like that. So we can start to connect things and then we can come up with a way we're going to measure that. And we can also do this for the balanced scorecard, and there's another video about that. But that's the tree diagram. And if you have any questions, you can always click on this link, and the link will take you to our website where you'll actually find write-ups about all of these things. And so that makes it easy to kind of dig in and, and get a little deeper into how to draw a tree diagram. And again, you can do this easily using Post-it Notes and then capture it in Excel. So there you have it. That's the tree diagram, one of the seven management and planning tools. Download a 30-day trial of the QI Macros from QIMacros.com.